Another early morning. But it's for somebody more important than me. A what? This is for Boomer. <laughs> oh, sorry, Boom Boom. Oh, where is he? Boomer. Oh, here, baby. Here's Boomer. It's okay, honey. This is a longer trip, so he's not going to be liking it. Boomer was not enjoying being in the cat carrier. No, 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 Booms, you can't go back there. So, I've decided to take him out <laughs> and hold him because I don't want him to get down and get under Kevin's feet while he's driving or anything. So, but he's kind of freaked out. <laughs> he's looking all around. But we're almost there, so. Oh boy. I have cat hair in my nose, cat hair in my mouth, <laughs> and a stranglehold on Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> so Boomy's mad at me again because I let the, the doctor poke her in the eye. Right, Boomy? So she's with mom. But, put him down. but Boomer. Boomer does not have a tumor. Yay! Good news! That's good news. Boomer has a possible, he has a little glycoma. And cataract. And a cataract. And so all he needs is going to be some eye drops. It says it could get worse. And there could be um, surgery in his future. But right now, um, they want to be conservative and just try to treat it with eye drops. We got to come back in three to four weeks to have a recheck. So, I think um, at least, you know, I was preparing for the worst today. I don't know about you. I was. But uh, I was expecting to hear tumor. She hears all that noise. He hears all that noise out there. All those people are here to see me, aren't they? That's right. I'm over here. Boomer. Boomer. Boomster. Boomer. That Come door opens, here. you're going to get smacked. Come here, Boomer. Boomer. Come on. Can't reach you over there. Oh. Yeah. Making yourself at home, huh? There you go. Rub the belly. Rub the belly. So did you like your visit? Huh? Even though I poked you in the eye? I think you're going to like riding home this way instead of in the cage. Mm-hmm. Just stay out from under my feet. I got hold of him, so he'll be fine. Okay, good. We're going to let Boomer ride out of the cat box on the way home. So he's not screaming at us the entire ride. <laughs> He gets to see where he's going. So it was good news. I mean, still, you know, possible surgery down the line. Um, wasn't cheap. <coughs> You're looking at a specialist, so they're never inexpensive. But, uh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. You know, we wanna take care of our babies. So. What are we doing, Boom? We're going really fast now. Oh, we're going really fast. I'm glad he doesn't get motion sick. Uh, well, he hasn't ever. Let's hope he doesn't now because I'll be the one he throws up on. <laughs> the doctor did say that his vision is somewhat impaired. Um, he has a cataract in his mouth. Yes, and... <coughs> A four centimeter bulge 
could be affecting his depth percep perception. So when he does make those jumps from the table to the bar and so on and so forth, or it the bar to the table. And doesn't make it. And doesn't make it. We're just thinking he's klutzy, but it could be because of depth per perception. Yeah. We usually don't hear Boomer talk. The only time we hear Boomer make noise is when he's got his cow in his mouth. <laughs> Boomer! Yeah. What are you doing back there? Yeah. Hi! Yeah. Hi! Yeah. We're almost home. Yeah! yeah. yeah. We are? Yeah. Nurse Val is going to take Kevin, the sodium freak's blood pressure. Sodium freak. Isn't it supposed to be up there? Nurse Val knows what she's doing. Sit straight, feet on the floor. Relax. Here we go. Maybe I should do a little dance in front of him, see if I get his blood pressure. <laughs> Ow, that's tight. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to. Everybody knows the normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. If you didn't know, now you do. He sucks. It's a little, a little high. The other one's 82. 120 over 82. All the salt this man eats. He salts everything. Everything! And look at that! Go to bed. People like him make me mad! Bye. Hello, everybody! Ralph Macchio over here. He's going to knock me off my chair. Proceed. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I only have a few tonight. Um, one is Katie 2's Weight Loss. Boomy, I'm so happy you're okay. That was Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you all happy that he's okay? Boomy. <laughs> I wanted this to be a shorter. <laughs> May we proceed? No. Oh, take your cat. You okay, buddy? <laughs> okay, my first shout out goes to Katie Two's weight loss. Her husband just lost his job, and they're kind of in the same situation we are in, except they do not have health insurance, and they don't have state assistance or anything like that. So she is coming down off of some medication, and she is going through some pretty bad withdrawals. So if everybody could please send her positive thoughts and healing thoughts, I would greatly appreciate it. She is on day six, and she is doing pretty good. But uh, it is a very tough thing. I've been there before. So, Katie, we're thinking of you. You're a strong woman, and I know you can do this. Crimson Fairy! Welcome back, lady! 
I know you've been busy with work and everything, but I'm glad you're watching again and able to make some comments. Always makes us happy to hear. Yeah. Taylor Berry, congratulations. She found out today that she is going to be having a baby boy around August 23rd. She already picked out baby boy's names. And I know she told me, but I don't remember. So, uh, Taylor, what did you pick out again? Let me know so I can let everybody else know what you picked out. Kevin? Yeah, I think I think that's what she said. I think yeah. she was going to name him Kevin. Good name. Good name. Yeah, it's a good name. Very good name. So that's all the shout-outs I actually have for tonight. But my question from last night was to tell us about one of your scars. And we had lots of different scars. Uh, scars on fingers, scars on the bottom of the feet, scars on um, the hairline, so on and so forth. Trust me, I know what it feels like to cut the bottom of your feet. I just had surgery on the bottom of both my feet. It's not a picnic. Trust me, I know. It hurts. Um, but my top one, my well, I picked two. Um, Portland Creek Diaries. Three weeks after her wedding, which she's very happy it happened after, a dog bit her through her nose. So, like, pierced her nose. Um, there's easier ways to get your nose pierced. You do know that, right? <laughs> Boomer helps. <laughs> yeah, boom. Boomer can pierce your nose for you. Um, so, I'm glad, though, she got that all fixed, and, and the scar I isn't noticeable. So, very good. Um, and then Michael031484, he wins the prize for top pain and um, most, most scars, you know, he told us several stories. Um, but the one that sticks out the most was they had just pulled up carpet out of his bedroom and he was laying down on the floor on his stomach to read a book and he put his legs underneath his bed. Well, they missed pulling up one of the nails. And he has a two-inch long, quarter-inch wide tear in his by his knee from that nail because he felt it. And you know, your first reaction is to pull. So he pulled it back, and when he pulled back, it cut. Oh, yeah. So he says it's like a straight cut. So it looks like there was a, a surgery incision there. But ow. That must have hurt, and I'm sure right by the knee, every time you bend the knee, eh, probably didn't feel too good. So, Kevin, what is one of your scars? Uh, uh probably this one. <laughs> uh, uh, do you, would, would that be considered a scar? <laughs> well, the two remaining ones are pretty scarred up. <laughs> Table's all. Bling, 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 bling. I have many scars, many, many. I have my stomach's all cut up. I've had three open stomach surgeries. But I have this one on my head right here. And uh, can you see it? I can see it. Can I poke it? No, that side of my head is a little sore. Um, but I had that scar because my cousin, Danny, um, was riding just a regular bicycle and he was coming down the driveway and it was a, a gravel driveway and I tried to move out of his way and I was walking and I was barefoot and I tried to move out of his way and he swerved too because he knew he was coming right at me well we moved in the same direction and he hit me and I face planted and I cut my head so that's how I got this beautiful scar right there so Fun. Okay, and my question for tonight is That was a strange noise. It was outside. <laughs> my question for tonight is in, in honor of the fact that I don't sleep much at night, what do you do at night when you can't sleep? Groovy man. There's my question. It's time for Neighborhood Community oh. Credit Roll. Okay. So, last night's question 
was apparently easy but strangely hard because I asked what was Michael Myers' middle name and there's actually a little confusion over it because it, it's either Audrey or Aubrey. It's um, uh, the only time that you hear this the middle name is in extra scenes on the TV version of Halloween and apparently an edited scene from the uh, Rob Zombie remake. So it was never in the, uh, it was never mentioned in any of the actual movies. And the people who got that right is number one Terry Johnson, number two Betsy Wetsy, number three Tanya Longley, number four Allison Fox, number five Maggie S, number six Greg Mike, number seven Fun Sixty Four, <gasps> number eight Angie Lupus Life. Okay, and tonight's, wow. tonight's question is an interesting one. Um, I actually didn't find this, I just happened to know it. What movies did Jamie Lee Curtis appear with her mother, Janet Lee? Ooh. From Psycho. Good question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all of our other stuff we have going on. And we will see you all 